think it hit the trailer hitch. Yes! So last time we got our 670cc 50 horsepower lawnmower running for the first time. It laid rubber down, it shot rooster tails, and it was really sketchy, but it was a lot of fun. So Ike, what are we doing today, man? John, dude, we are installing a hood, a trailer hitch, a wheelie bar, and we are going to brace up the bottom of this frame to make it stiffer. Yeah, because it ran really well last time just on pavement and stuff, but if we want to do like hill climbs and send it for a lap around the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix, it's going to need to be stiffened up. Yeah. The chassis is like eighth inch steel. It's stamped steel. Yeah. It's a stamped steel frame. It's not strong. So it's, it's kind of, it's like, it's like when you're at the family reunion and you get your plate of food and you're taking it to your table and you realize it's a paper plate and it's a little thin and all of a sudden your food just picking up the back and I... Yeah. That's what we got. We're gonna start with a wheelie bar today. We have this trailer hitch receiver. We're gonna weld in behind the uh, axle with a cross brace and it's gonna help stiffen up our chassis as well as put a little bit more weight uh, behind the axle to help it wheelie, but it's also gonna be a receiver for our wheelie bar. What we've gotta build is a little bit of framework off the back to connect the frame and give a place for the receiver tube to mount to. So we have some nice angle pieces on the frame I'm going to take some short pieces of angle, put in on the frame, weld it up. Going to have a flat bar underneath it on both sides. And then we're going to have, we're going to weld this piece to the framework, this piece to the top, and the receiver tube goes right smack dab in the middle and it's going to be all welded up together. Because we're removing the fuel tank so we can be safe. Yeah. Er, safer. Just under three and three quarter. Wait, just under it would make it. I could probably cut this in half and it'd be half. The longer one will get the longer one. If you go a little over, that's all right. We're at 16 and... Uh, Yeah, it'll fit. Lucky, lucky us. If you're 
you're enjoying today's video, smash that thumbs up button for us. Also, the It'll Be Fine Cars and Cameras hats are back in stock on our website, cars-cameras.com, as well as a brand new t-shirt design. Check them out. So the wheels are back on, the fuel tank's back in, and our trailer hitch receiver is completely ready to go. Step on it real quick, man. Okay. So, it's pretty sturdy. Um, for a temporary wheelie bar, we have a trailer hitch. Uh, and we're gonna put it upside down so that uh, when this thing goes up, it will be limited by the ball. I'm gonna need two 42 inch pieces to make this X frame under here. Bracing onto the chassis is done, so now we're gonna move on to the hood. Last time we cut a hole in the hood, but we're gonna hit it with the hamburger wheel on the drill to kind of smooth it out so we don't cut ourselves on that sharp, sharp metal. <laughs> I was thinking just, uh, you know what, that'd be too hard. Just pick two spots, drill uh, holes, yep. and you put a bolt and a nut going through here, a bolt and nut facing that way. Yeah. And then you have the hole here and you just set the hood on it and then you, you put, a, put another bolt in it. To put a nut on it uh, yeah, or, another nut. or a okay. pin. Okay, that works. Hold on. Sorry. Mine are in. <laughs> but we just uh, take these out and there'll be holes there and we'll just drill a second. Drill a second. There you go. So the chassis has been braced, we have a trailer hitch as a wheelie bar, we have bolts in the hood to keep it on, and we're about ready to go for a ride. But first, we have a part that we've been meaning to show you for a while, clear valve cover from GoPowerSports.com. 
So the clear valve cover is a great inexpensive way to dress up your Honda clone engine. All you need to do is specify if you have a Hemi or non-Hemi head. Now what's Hemi and what's non-Hemi? Well, right here we have a Hemi engine. This is our stage four 20 horsepower, 9,000 RPM engine that carried our non-aerodynamic go-kart to 72 miles an hour. So this is a Hemi head and the easy way to tell the difference between a Hemi and non-Hemi is that the Hemi has a cast aluminum valve cover whereas the non-Hemi has a stamped steel. And the really dumbed down version of that is that the Hemi is gonna have a non-glossy finish and the non-Hemi is gonna have a glossy finish on it. This clear valve cover is quick and easy to install. It's just four eight millimeter bolts. You can pick one up for $24.95 regular price or 10% off with our discount code CC10. Now that the four screws are out, Bada bada bing, bada bada boom. It comes yep. with a new gasket, crankcase vent, and a hose. Now normally, I, I would say that this is probably a, a easy five minute installation. Two minute installation? Well, on average. Two minutes if you have one of these guys. No. <laughs> um, and please guys, don't over tighten this. This is going to be a light little Half grunt? I'm gonna say a quarter grunt, dude. That's a quarter grunt. It's not even an ink. With clear valve cover, you can just see what's going on with the rockers. Check it out. And these do not get yellow over time. They will continue to be clear. And just like that, we're done. Yep, five minute install, less than 25 bucks at our links in the description from Go Power Sports. All right, let's uh, Send that thing around the car right. so the camera's crank good. free. Casual kind of lap, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Alright, that's probably good. Alright. Uh, let me get the, uh, uh, the fuel. Go yeah. for it.
hit the trailer hitch. Yes! Wheelies were an epic win. Congratulations, Thank sir. you, sir. Yeah, Thank man. you. And uh, I didn't do a huge wheelie, but it was like so graceful, just going up and coming back down. It wasn't harsh. The Black Widow, that thing was harsh. It went up real hard on the wheelie bar, and it came down really hard. But this is like, at least for me, because we weigh a different amount, it's nice and graceful on the wheelie. The track, not so much. We laid down a 33.75, I think it was. Well, you were taking it easy on it because of the grass. Well... Well, not because of the grass, if I'm honest with you, but because I, every corner I almost fell out of the thing. I mean, it okay. doesn't have any bolstering on the seat. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, next time I think we need to go some, you know, go off-road, go mudding somehow, do some drifting. I don't know, but take it off-road uh, and shoot some rooster tails. We also need to check out Busco, what we're bending. Busco Beach. Busco Beach would be epic, yeah. Um, oh, the next meet. Yeah, just an epic combo. It's an epic-sounding engine. It's fast as... It's faster than I've ever wanted to go on a lawnmower. Yeah. Uh, it, it'll, it'll roast the tires in the grass. It'll roast the tires on the, on the pavement. Boom. Yeah, it's insane. Check out all the links to the parts we used in this build in the description of this video. They're from GoPowerSports.com. Don't forget to use our discount code CC10 to get you an even better deal on parts and to help support us as well. Uh, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews, reviews for sneak peeks on what we are up to. Check me out at Isaac. It'll be fine. And finally, if you want to support the channel, check out our website, cars-cameras.com, for shirts, stickers, and we're getting more hats, too. So looking forward to those. And subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and leave a thumbs up for the epic wheelie. And thank you, 500,000 subscribers. See you next time.